of five NIT Triple IIT GPA College. So here is the information for general twenty one thousand in Triple IIT and for NIT only three point five thousand. As you also know, who will uh, who will leave the CSE seat in NIT Triple IIT that is two in top five. But there will be some cancellation of admission due to the document verification of a student. Some student will withdraw from there due to taking the drop for IITs. So there will be some seat available, and that you will able to know after the JOSA counseling last year also there was lots of seat in CSC branch also available. So you can expect the cutoff will up uh, increase, and in CSE counseling it's all about getting the college at high rank. So you will be getting it, but for CSC the cutoff will not so increase lots of because no one wants to leave the CSC branch. But of course, if they will looking for IITs or their uh, document verification will not be done, then those seat will be uh, vacant and you will able to get. So now if you talk about for GPA college twenty eight and forty thousand, there are some GPA that are very good. That's why the cut off is low. But if you will go for top ten twenty, the cut off will decrease. That is, it will go up to high rank. Now if you talk about for EWS twenty four thousand, for triple IIT, for an IIT four and seven thousand, that is for male and female. And for GPA thirty five and forty seven thousand, that is for male and female. And for OBC twenty eight thousand, for uh, triple IIT and IIT seven eight thousand, GPA forty and fifty thousand. These are the CRL rank. Don't be confused. These are the CRL rank. In JOSA counseling, your category rank will be used. In CSE counseling, your CRL rank will be used. Of course, you will get the benefit of your category like Jack Delhi, Jack Chandigarh counseling. But he, but here your CRL rank will be considered. But You will get the benefit of your category, as you can see here. OBC candidate can get up to high rank also instead of low rank if you will compare it with the general category. Now, if you talk about for SC category, one point one lakh that is for IIT, for NIT sixty and seventy thousand for GPA one point three and one point five lakh. Now, if you talk about for SC category, one point three lakh for IIT, for NIT seventy and seventy five thousand and for GPA it is one point four lakh and one point six. Triple IIT and IIT GPA College. So for general thirty five and forty thousand for Triple IIT and for an IIT eleven and fifteen thousand for GPA it is eighty thousand and one lakh because those GPA colleges are less demandable. But one more reason for the high cut off is many students don't know about the GPA colleges. They only feel the Triple IIT and an IIT. That's why the GPA cut off is high. So if you will be aware of that, you can get the CSC branch up to the last rank also. And this is the cut off for CSC branch. Now if you talk about for EWS forty and forty five thousand for Triple IIT. And for an IIT thirteen and eighteen thousand for GPA one lakh and one point three lakh. Now if we talk about for OBC forty two and sixty eight thousand for triple IIT for an IIT sixteen and twenty thousand for GPA one point five lakh and two lakh. And again I am repeating these are the CRL rank. You will get the benefit of your category, but your CRL rank will be used in CSAB counseling. That is CSAB counseling after JOSA counseling. There will be CSAB counseling, and for that I am providing you the video. Because for JOSA counseling, I have already provided you in CSAB. The cutoff will go up to a very high rank. That's why I am providing you the video so that you will have the expectation what you can get. Now, if we talk about for SC, one point seven lakh and one point eight lakh for triple IIT for an IIT eighty thousand and one lakh, and for GPA it is it is three lakh and four lakh. Now, if we talk about for SC, two point five lakh and three lakh for triple IIT for an IIT one lakh and one point two lakh, and for GPA it is four and five lakh. Now you can see how much is the difference between general EWS OBC cutoff and SCST cut off because of the reservation they are getting the benefit. So if you are from SCST, I will suggest to don't take the drop because your chances will be very high, up to very high rank as well. So please try to do your counseling very carefully, and for that I will be helping you once you register for top twenty NIT Triple IIT GPA college. So here is the information for general forty five and fifty thousand for NIT twenty and thirty thousand GPA one point one lakh one point five lakh for EWS fifty and fifty five thousand for NIT twenty five and thirty five thousand. And for GPA, one point three and one point eight lakh. Now, if we talk about for EWS, fifty and fifty five thousand for NIT, twenty five and thirty five thousand for GPA, it is one point three and one point eight lakh. Now, if we talk about for OBC, fifty three and seventy three thousand for Triple IIT, for NIT, twenty eight and forty thousand for GPA, one point nine lakh and two point two lakh. Now, if we talk about for SC, two lakh and two point five lakh for uh, that is for Triple IIT and for NIT, one lakh one point two lakh and for GPA, it is four and five lakh. That is after class. It is for female category, and of, of course, if you are from home state, then you will be getting the benefit of of your NIT in some of the GPA also. Home state cutoff are available, but in triple IIT college there is no home state other state quota. Only one quota is there. So in NIT, if you are from home state, obviously you will be getting the college at very high rank also because you are from home state, and 50% seat are reserved for home state student. So for that, once you register with my guidance, I will try to discuss for that also. Otherwise, you can check the last year data as well. But one more time, I would like to inform you: 
counseling can't be done based on the previous year data only because you have to consider the current year trend because you are going to take the admission in current year and also one more thing i would like to inform that is cut off is a variable thing not a constant thing it can change to any uh, rank in the counseling process so there can't be a guarantee but the thing is you have to go according to the current year trend as i am doing the counseling from last three four years so i am having the complete information based on that i am providing the cut off that you can expect for the csf counseling this year that is for csc branch now if we talk about for st category 3 and 4 lakh and for nit it is 1.3 1.6 and gpa 5 and 6 talk about for lowest nit triple it gpa that is lower most possible college for general 60 and 70000 it is if you want to get the cs branch then your rank should be at least 60000 or 70000 for male female for the triple it college for nit 40 and 45000 For GPA 1.6 and 2 lakh, and for EWS 70 and 80,000, uh, that is for triple IT and IT 45 and 50,000 for GPA 2 and 2.5 lakh rank, and for OBC 73, 85,000 for triple IT for NIT 48 and 55,000, and for GPA it is 2.4, 3.2 lakh, and for SC category now if you talk, then 2.5 lakh and 3 lakh for triple IT. Once again, I would like to inform you these are the CRL rank. Obviously, you will get the benefit of your category, but your CRL rank will be considered in the CSAB counseling. Now, if we talk about for NIT 1.5 and 2 lakh, and for uh, GFTA 5 and 6 lakh. Now, let's talk about for ST category 4 and 5 lakh. That is for triple IT and IT 1.7, 2.2 lakh, and for GFTA 6 and 7 lakh. Top five NIT triple IT GFTA college. So here is the information. It is for general 11 and 19,000 for NIT. You can expect the AC branch, and for triple IT 34,000, GFTA 40,000. Before moving forward to this video, I would like to inform you that if you want complete counseling guidance for CSAB counseling, that is from now up to the admission is done, I will be guiding you once you register with my guidance. So if you want, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number. There is a nominal charge for that. As you also know, in CSAB counseling, there are lots of risk involved. You may get the less deserving seat, you may lose your preferred seat, or you may have to drop for the upcoming year. And also, there is a high risk of losing your money. So I will be guiding you for everything so that you will not lose anything. And you will able to get into the best, so that you will able to join the best college with best possible branch for your beta course this year. So now let's talk about for EWS category 14 and 23 thousand. It is for male and female for triple IT 39.8 thousand. You can expect and for GFTA 45 thousand and for OBC 18 and 26 thousand for NIT for triple IT 44 thousand and for GFTA 50 thousand. All are CRL rank. There is no category rank because in CSAB counseling you will be getting the college based on your CRL rank. Obviously, you will be getting the benefit of your category as you can see here. General will be getting at eleven thousand only. EWS can get up to fourteen thousand. OBC eighteen thousand. And similarly for SCST category also up to highest rank. So you will get the benefit of your category, but your CRL rank will be used during the counseling process. That's why I am providing you the cutoff relevant to CRL rank. So now if you talk about for SC 17 80000 for NIT for triple IT 1.2 lakh GFT 1.5 lakh for SP 80 and 80000 and 1 lakh for NIT for triple IT 1.9 lakh and for GFT it is 2.7 now lakh. if you talk about for top 10 NIT triple IT GFT so here is the information again i would like to inform you these are the cut off for EC branch now let's talk about for general 17 and 27000 for NIT and for triple IT 47000 GFT 1 lakh Now, if we talk about for EWS 19 and 30,000, that is for male and female, and for triple IT 50,000, GFTA 1.4 lakh, OBC uh, 23 and 32,000, that is CRL rank, for NIT and for triple IT 59,000, for GFTA 1.7 lakh. Now, if we talk about for SC 1 and 1.2 lakh, for NIT for triple IT 2.1 lakh, GFTA 2.6 lakh, and for SP 1.2 lakh, for NIT that is for male and for female it is 1.4 lakh, for triple IT 3 lakh. And GFTA you can get up to five. Now, if you talk right. about for top twenty and IT triple IT GFTA college, so here is the information. That is for general thirty five and forty thousand for NIT for triple IT fifty thousand, and for GFTA it is up to two lakh. You will able to get the college, but with better counseling only. As I have informed you at the start of this video, you have to do the counseling process very carefully. And for that, I will be guiding you once you register with my guidance. There is a nominal charge for that. If you need, you can contact me any time through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. Now, if we talk about for EWS 39,50,000 for NIT for triple IT 61,000 for GFTA 2.2 lakh for OBC 44 and 53,000 it is for male female NIT for triple IT 65,000 for GFTA 2.5 lakh and if you are a female and you are looking for triple IT and GFTA then you can add some more rank to whatever I am providing because these are for male for female it will be a little bit higher. 
Now, if we talk about for SC category, 1.5, 1.8 lakh. That is for NIT and for triple IT, 2.9 lakh. For GFTI, 3.5 lakh. Now, if we talk about for ST category, 1.8 lakh and 2.1 lakh for NIT. For triple IT, 4 lakh. And, and for GFTI, it is 6 lakh, not 5 lakh. It is now, if we talk lakh. about for lowest possible NIT, triple IT, GFTI college. So, here is the information for general 48 and 55,000 for NIT. For triple IT, 1 lakh. For GFTI, 4 lakh. And for EWS, 53 and 60,000 for NIT for triple IT 1.2 lakh for GFTA 5 lakh for OBC 55 and 65,000 for NIT for triple IT 1.25 lakh and for GFTA 6 lakh and for SC it is 2 and 3 lakh that is for NIT for triple IT 3.2 lakh GFTA 6.5 lakh and for ST now if you talk then 3 and 4 lakh for NIT 4.5 lakh for triple IT and 7 lakh for GFTA so now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps. That is first you have to download the Philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app. And after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the India's best educator. In question you want to say that bulb ki power is if the bulb is वो 220 वोल्टेज पर ऑपरेट हो रहा है राइट right? इस बैटरी का जो वोल्टेज है वो आपको गिवन है 220 तो ये आपको सिंपल रिलेशन हो गया यहां पर अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो ऐप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड IEB001 यू विल गेट द 10% इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट दिस इज द कट ऑफ फॉर लोएस्ट पॉसिबल ब्रांच ऑब्वियसली इन ट्रिपल आईटी कॉलेज ओनली सीएससी एंड ईसी ब्रांच आर अवेलेबल बट इन टॉप 5 Triple IT. There is other branch also available also. for general category. Seventy thousand for male and eighty thousand for female. That is for NIT for top five NIT. As you also know, in top five NIT there are lots of lower branches available. So that you will able to get up to seventy and eighty thousand also. That is for male and female and for triple IT up to seventy eight thousand and for GFTI college two point seven lakh you will also get the college. That is the lowest possible branch. Now, if you talk about for EWS, 75 and 85,000 for NIT, for triple IT, it is 1.1 lakh. Once again, I would like to inform you in triple IT college, only CSC, EC, IT branch are available, but only few triple IT colleges are there where mechatronics or mechanical branch are available. So, here in top 5, there is one triple IT where the lower branch is available that I have considered here. Obviously, if you will go for CSC or EC branch, your rank should be better than this. So, for GFTI, 3 lakh. Now, if you talk about for OBC, 80,000, 90,000 that is for NIT male and female and for triple IT 1.2 lakh and particularly if you are a female and you are looking for triple IT in GFTI then you can add some more rank because in some of the triple IT there is only male cutoff that's why I have considered the male cutoff only. Now if you talk about for uh, triple IT it is 1.2 lakh and GFTI 3.5 lakh and for SC 2.8 lakh and 3 lakh that is for male and female NIT and for triple IT 2.5 lakh and for GFTI it is 4.5 lakh. Now, if you talk about for ST, 5.5 and 6 lakh, that is for male and female and for triple IT, 3.5 lakh, GFTI, 5 lakh. So, one more time, I would like to inform you, this is the cutoff for lower branches and in CSEB, it is not 100% sure that the cutoff will go as last year it went. So, you have to do everything carefully and for that, I will be guiding you completely. If you want, you can register, there is a nominal charge for that, but I am just providing you the expectation, what you can expect and that is, 99% will be correct because I am doing the counseling from last 3-4 years and I am able to guess the current year trend based on that I am providing you the information. So, hope you get this information very useful that is for top 5 NIT triple IT GFTI. For top 10 NIT triple IT GFTI that you can expect in CSEP round 2 that, that is the expected cutoff for general 85 and 1.2 lakh that is for NIT for triple IT 45 and 55,000 only as I already informed you earlier that is in triple IT college only CSC and EC branch are available in top 5 there is a triple IT where mechanical branch is also available that's why the cutoff we are high for GFTI 5 lakh EWS 1 and 1.3 lakh and for triple IT 50 and 60,000 for GFTI it is 5.5 lakh and for OBC 1.1 lakh and 1.5 lakh that is for NIT for triple IT 58,000 and 75,000 and for GFTI 6 lakh for SC category 2.7 lakh and for uh, triple IT 2.3 and 3 lakh and for GFTI 6.7 lakh for ST 4 lakh 3.5 and 4 lakh and 7 lakh that is for NIT triple IT GFTI respectively so this was about the top 10 NIT triple IT GFTI that you can expect up to the CSAV counseling now, round let's talk two. about for top 20 NIT triple IT GFTI college here is the information for general 90,000 1.3 lakh 
and that is for NIT for triple IT 58 and 65,000 that is for male and female and for GFTI it is 55,000 EWS 1.1 1.4 lakh for NIT and for triple IT 65 75,000 GFTI 6 lakh and for OBC 1.2 1.6 lakh that is for NIT and for triple IT 70 and 82,000 GFTI 6.5 lakh and these are based on the previous year cutoff as well as the current year trend everything I have discussed as I am guiding lots of students regularly I am talking with lots of students across India so I am able to guess the current year trend so based on that I am providing you the complete information and it will be almost 99% correct so now if you talk about for SC 4 and 5 lakh that is for NIT for triple IT 2.5 and 3 lakh and for GFT it is 7 lakh now now let's talk about for ST category 6 and 7 lakh that is for NIT male and female for triple IT 4 and 4.5 lakh and for GFTI 7.5 lakh about the lowest possible NIT triple IT GFTI college so here is the information for general 1.3 and 2 lakh and for triple IT 74 and 88,000 for GFTI 7 lakh and for EWS 1.6 lakh and 2.2 lakh that is for male and female and for triple IT 78, 95,000 for GFTI 8 lakh and for OBC 1.7, 2.5 lakh that is for NIT for triple IT 82,000 and 1 lakh and for GFTI it is 8 lakh now if you talk about for SC category 5 and 6 lakh that is for NIT and for triple IT 3 and 3.7 lakh that is for male and female and for GFTI 8 lakh and for ST category you can get I think at any rank because there are some branches that are very less demandable and if you are looking for that you can obviously get that and you can check the last year cutoff also that's why I'm providing you the information as for ST 7 to 8 lakh for NIT triple IT 5 to 5.2 lakh because in triple IT only CSE AC branch are available for GFTI it is at any rank you can get this.